All right, guy. All right, guys. Um, we installing the uh, sensors now, and um, tying to leg one, leg two, and uh, I pop this cap on the side and bring it to one of the legs. This is a transformer. Hook up to it, and the other transformer is gonna be on this. But mind you, folks, um, these inverters. Um, the transformers are kind of a little bit uh, smaller. The wire. Some people have some fat wires in their houses. Um, the house breaker. But this is the transformer. So look at it. This one is bigger. So I don't even know what gauge number they have here. So the gauge on this one, I can't even able to read it. But anyway, it's kind of slack. It's not it's not tight fit holding it really you know the way it should but I already installed that and I'm gonna come here and show you to this um, other ray that is 900 some watt of solar 900 watt solar so this is what I want to show you down here is the load from leg one okay leg one that's the load right here 500 and something and 42 supplementing so let me shut it down and see the watt for the load is going up over 633 see that 633 and look at the load down here this is a 633 is the load for the house the solar is off which is like 15 volts coming in which is already off but look let me turn it on oh the phone is kicking so it's a uh, 1200 so let's turn this one on from 1200 it drops it down to 1182 so that's how the transformer works for the uh, limiter this one right here so see that it's taking the load and compensate the solar if the solar was on or really bright outside but uh, folks it's, it, it's, it's dark now it's over four we have bad weather today cloudy it's not fun at all so the sun didn't come out at all so look at that 40 something is supplementing back to the grid instead of taking 1200 I'm gonna turn it off solar off then it's gonna go up see 1216 1220 so let's turn the solar back on and see you see it's gonna cut the, pro uh, the number right there 1182 1188 so that's how the transformer works. That's complete our installation here. I'm gonna do the other one. Go, go. All right, folks, uh, it's a live box. It's really live. You don't wanna do that. Don't do what I'm doing, okay? Be careful. Yes. Real Meister Dave said, don't do it. But this is the way. I wanna turn off the entire house because we're not gonna have any lights. It doesn't have any backup here on tangling the cables here is the transformer the second one that goes to the uh, other limiter inverter so I'm gonna tie it right on this one here Okay, let's try this. You see what I'm talking about? The Y, um, the the Y is too small. It's skinny. So this is the problem here. I'm gonna try this again. It's a live box I'm messing with here, folks. So don't do this. It's kind of slack, but let's see what the reading here. Bring this one. Okay, so we're gonna tie this one, the limiter to the transformer to the other inverter. All right, go. We just want to make sure always when you install the transformer, supposed to be on the left hand side, which is the internal 
now we already have the uh, inverters really high. I cannot read, but I can tell from the previous one here, which is um, the internal, not the external. So the internal is this one, because since we have inverter limiter internal, so this is the way, this is the way you want it to be. So, all right, so I'm gonna install it right here. Well, let me turn the solar off on these. Pass my wire right here. How do I management later? And uh, you have two little tiny holes that needs to correspond to this one. Be careful, can't break them. I can't see, so it's kind of tough. There you go. So it looks like it's inside now. So tighten up this. Make sure it's in. Double check, triple check. So if we come back here. Okay, we have to change. We have to change the configuration here, the settings. So we have to go back to focus. All right. We have to go back to the settings here and make sure you change it. Check this box. Check this box. I hope you can see it. It's kind of hard. Let me try this. Can you see it now? Eh, it's not going to help that much. Okay, go. Okay, so we're going to scroll. You yeah, like the limit, limiter mode. limiter mode then go move to the other one no external is the internal check on that one is a check mark go to the home page which is the button right here home page it's gonna ask you to save it you have to be under red yes so get out of there look at it it's reading now it's nine almost hundred watts coming up from that leg let me turn it on so turn it on let's see the sun is now out. The sun is all gone now. Look, it dropped it to almost from 99. Let's see. There's no sun outside. It's cloudy, really cloudy. And let's see. All right, guys, uh, the transformer is already installed. You can see from here, the solar is only bringing a 27 now. It's cloudy outside, it's late evening. There's nothing there, but you can read from the grid. It tells you um, that the, this leg one is pulling about 447, while this leg here is pulling constantly 100 watts. These panels are already asleep because of the, uh, there's a tree on the other side of it, which we're gonna be taking care of. Stay tuned for that video. We're gonna cut that tree so that we can have more lights because one of the panels for shading and the voltage is um, still high, which is really dark outside now. And this one is still bringing because uh, face the advantage because of no trees on that side, it's open sky. And uh, you can see the um the wattage that is drawn from this leg 455 so this guy here the transformer is right here the limiter transformer is this one and this one here is 
for this one here, number two. So this one has 630 of solar and the other one has 900. The 900 is still operational. So these are the breakers right here for both of them. And you guys can see they all, you can disconnect each array. So this is how the breaker box look down here. Live here at JW Solo USA at Dave's house. This is how we wrapping up with the installation. And uh, mind you, these uh, guys are really big, uh, not too tight. They're slack, you know, because the wire is smaller that they install at Dave's uh, breaker box. So it's not like snuggle tight. All right. Thank you, guys. Subscribe, like, and share. More, any question you have, I will see how I can answer that. And um, we go from there. Yep. Or else, don't forget to give your like to the channel. And support my channel as I'm going to be bringing more projects coming your way. Live here at JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Oh, before I go. Yeah, the breakers. We changed the breakers that used to be here. This uh, uh, fault or Grand Fault breaker, they changed them because it kept tripping all the time. So these are the ones like double pull or double throw uh, breakers. So you only use this one here and this one here. So two breakers, two breakers on one, two in one. So this one is active, this one is active. So you have more reserve to hook up more stuff into this, okay? And um, that comes to this breaker right here that split the 240. You can see that this breaker is a 240 right there and goes f and feeds to this panel right here, energizing these breakers. All right. It's a 60 amp. And we have the water softener right here. So hook up to these 60 amps. So it's pulling everything transmits here so the grid tide they're pushing power from here and throw them into this breaker which is 60 amp breaker but is energizing both legs because of 240 so 240 breaker all right i hope you can see that see that 120 240 right there so just to clarify some of the questions you guys are gonna be asking later and um I hope you guys enjoy this install. I'm gonna be doing all the uh, the wire management now properly and close that box and we complete or we call it a day. Bye. Right. All right, this is the complete installation of the system. Wires already in place, but back to the original. Silicon is, is in place. Everything is on and up yeah. and running. The only thing that's missing is the sun. We don't have no sun. Um, it's late now. The time right now is 1646 hours, which is a 446 p.m. in the evening. Bad, bad day today. No sun at all. Sun. <laughs> These are all the plug-in for the inverters. You have GFCI breakers into it, protection, double protection. And here are the breakers for them. Breaker up, that's going to be for the uh, the far inverter right there, the last one, which is uh, number three. And this is number four. You can see... So double pole breaker, the box is in place, everything back to original, the way it used to, get Dave happy again. So all we're going to be waiting now, oh, the disconnect for the arrays is right here. You can see, you see that 630 on one, those are the big uh, rec panels. It's 315 watt each, and the other one series uh, monocrystalline uh, is another 
brake panels too. You see that uh, it's uh, 300 watts each. So it's 900 watts total on that thing plus uh, 630. So if you do the math, Dave has here approximately 1530 watts of solar. 1 1.5 1.5.30 kilowatts. So 1530 watts of solar is going to be powering this house. I'll take you outside and show you the conditions. Um, this is already sleeping. Volt is still there. The 900 is still bringing something because of the orientation. And look now what happened. The furnace kicks in. Oh boy. 1,126 1, watts. So it's a good thing I have this uh, 900 on this leg. And this one is only pulling 100, 103 as I speak. So it's not pulling uh, much. But it has some few things that hook up to that. For well, this side hook up to the furnace. I think this side they hook up to the uh, water, instant water heater. But um, right now the furnace kicks in here on this leg is pulling, and uh, it's pulling. I'm surprised because I thought the furnace is supposed to be maybe he has a 120 furnace. I don't think it's a 240 furnace he has. So 120 is coming from this leg. Which is 1,000, 1,116, 16, 18 watts coming up from this leg. So it's good we have more panels on this leg right here because that's where the furnace is. He had a heat on in the house, so it's just the fan blowing. And this side here, you can see only about uh, 103 watts coming out. So he might have a hundred and 20 volt um, fan on the um, the furnace okay I think the air conditioner will probably be 240 but the, the the blower is 120 so let's let me take you outside and see all right folks this is the weather right now super cloudy super cloudy it's not fun at all but because we have those panels parallel Sometimes if you have a high voltage panels, they go to sleep or whatever. But um, this is this is the thing here, and uh, panels are up there. See that? The three down, the bottom three are the one producing right now, and the top two, they are sleeping. If you can see, I'm trying to climb here. Hope you can see that. So, see that tree I was talking about? The sun's supposed to be on that side right now, ending of the day. So that panel over there is not making that much, but that tree is gonna be coming down soon. That's what Dave said. These are the three down here. The lowest ones are producing right now is 20 something watt. Look at the clouds. It's dark nothing we can expect from this right now but hey it's all done the meter clamps are all there hey Dave you can see if we can clean these panels before for tomorrow production thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos coming your way